hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to make this very cute little dinosaur so what you're gonna need is you need two eyes you also need a crochet hook which is 4.5 millimeters and you also need a yarn so I use two kinds the orange one for the top or any color of your choice and the main color for the body and I use this uh, this yarn as you can see it's for ply and these are all the details for the yarn okay it's a hundred percent acrylic and you also need uh, some scissors to cut your yarn okay and an, a needle to attach them together okay so let's get started okay so we're going to start with the head and for the head we're going to start with the magic ring and six single crochet into the magic ring so we'll do one two three four five and six okay so then after that in the second row we are going to increase each each stitch around for a total of 12 stitches okay so i'll put my crochet marker over here and then i'll continue to increase each stitch so i'll increase the first stitch increase the other one then increase the other one too and continue and increasing to the end okay so after we are done increasing in the third row we are going to do single crochet then increase single crochet increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet and then increase in the next one and then single crochet again and increase in the next and then we we'll continue repeating that single crochet increase Okay, and repeat all the way round okay so after that now in our fourth row we are going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat all the way round for a total of 24 stitches so we'll do two single crochet then increase in the next And then we'll repeat that two single crochets and increase in the next stitch okay and we repeat this all the way round okay so now in our fifth row we are going to do three single crochet then increase in the next and repeat all the way round for a total of 30 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three and increase and we continue repeating that three single crochets and increase in the next and we we'll repeat the same pattern all the way round Okay, so now in our sixth row we are going to do four single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 36 stitches so we do single crochet one two three four and increase in the next stitch and repeat four single crochets and increase ok 
okay so repeat this to the end okay so after we're done with row six now for the next nine rows which is from row seven to row fifteen we are going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of uh, 36 stitches okay so in this row you're going to continue to do single crochets all the way around okay so now increase so just single crochets okay so continue all the way around and until you get to row 15 so I'll see when you're done with the 15th row so that we start the 16th row together okay so after you're done with the 15th row this is how your head should look like so now in our next row which is our 16th row we are going to start decreasing and we're going to do four single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 30 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four and decrease so decrease is you go into the next stitch so i'll show you how to decrease so you go into the next stitch pull through and go in the back loop of the next stitch pull through and pull through all the three loops together okay and then we're going to continue repeating that so four single crochets one two three four and decrease okay and then you're going to repeat this all the way round okay so now after that in our 17th row we are going to do three single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three and decrease and then we we'll continue repeating that so three single crochets one two three and decrease Okay, and continue with this pattern all the way round okay so now in our 18th row which is the last row of the head we are going to do two single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way round for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do two single crochet and then decrease and continue repeating that so two single crochet and decrease okay and we continue repeating this all the way round okay so after that after the last row we are going to go into the next stitch and slip stitch okay and then after the slip stitch we are going to cut a yarn long enough for sewing Okay, and then after that, make sure you stuff your head. Uh, make, make sure you stuff your head fully, and then I'll show you how to make the body. Okay, so for the body, we're going to start with six single crochet into the magic ring. I already did that. Okay, so now in our second row, we are going to increase all the way around for a total of 12 stitches. So we're going to increase the first stitch, increase the next one, okay, and you'll con you'll increase each stitch all the way round. Okay, so now in our third row, we are going to do single crochet, then increase. And repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet then increase in the next one 
then repeat that and do single crochet increase single crochet and increase okay and continue repeating that to the end okay so now in our fourth row we are going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so we'll do two single crochet and increase two single crochet increase okay so repeat all the way round okay so now in our fifth row we are going to do three single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 30 stitches so three single crochets and increase three single crochets and increase Okay, so repeat this all the way round. Okay, so now after that, for the next four rows, which is from row six to row nine, we are going to continue and do single crochet all the way round. Okay, so until you get to row nine. So I'll see you when you're done with the next four rows, and then we'll start with the uh, tenth row together okay so for each row which is row six and row nine you'll have a total of 30 stitches okay so after you're done with the ninth row now in our tenth row we are going to do single crochet all the way around until we have two stitches left here at the end okay so you're going to do single crochet single crochet single crochets okay so continue doing the single crochets until you have the two stitches here at the end okay so uh, when you get here at the end for the last two stitches we are going to do one decrease so I'm going to go into the front loop pull through and the back loop of the next stitch pull through and pull through all of them together okay so now we have a total of 29 stitches so now in our 11th row we are going to do the same so do single crochet all the way around until you have two stitches left at the end so we're going to do single crochets okay so continue all the way until you have the last two stitches Okay, so when we get to the end we are going to do one decrease like in the previous row okay and then we're going to continue to the 12th row so in the 12th row we are going to do the same thing so repeat single crochet all the way around and decrease in the last stitches here at the end Okay, so we're going to continue single crochets. Okay, and continue until you have the last two stitches. Okay, so we're going to decrease here at the end. Okay, and then we're going to continue to the 13th row. Okay, so in our 13th row we are going to do the same single crochet all the way around and decrease at the end so single crochets okay so continue all the way around until we have our two stitches left okay so again we are going to decrease here at the end So now we have a total of uh, 26 stitches so now in our 14th row we are going to do the same thing 
do single crochets until you have two stitches left so single crochets Okay, so and continue to the last two stitches okay so now we're going again to decrease here at the end okay and then we're going to continue to the 15th row and in our 15th row we are going to do single crochet all the way around until we have four stitches left here at the end so instead of two stitches here leave four stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. Okay, so continue until you have four stitches left. Okay, so in the four stitches left here at the end, we are going to decrease two times. So we're going to decrease one time and decrease again another time. Okay, so now we have a total of 23 stitches so now in our 16th row we are going to do the same the same thing so continue and do single crochet all the way until you have four stitches left so you're going to continue and do single crochets single crochets okay and continue this to the last four stitches okay so in the last four stitches we are going to decrease again two times so decrease one time and decrease again one more time okay so now in our 17th row uh, we're going to do five single crochet then decrease and repeat three times for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four five and decrease and then you're going to repeat this again two more times so five single crochet decrease Five single crochet and decrease okay so after you're done with that now for the next two rows which is row 18 and 19 which are the last two rows we're going to do single crochet in each row for a total of uh, 18 stitches okay so do single crochet for the next two rows and then I'll show you how to finish up okay so you're going to continue here and do single crochet single crochet okay and you continue with single crochet to the end in this row and the next row okay so after you're done with the 19th row that's the last row of the body we're going to go into the next stitch slip stitch and cut a yarn long enough for sewing Okay, and then when we're done make sure you stuff your body fully and then after that I'll show you how to make the tail 